I'm Nana Gill and I want to be a superhero and this week I want the superpower of flight. I've been thinking maybe we've been going about this totally the wrong way. I mean we've been making flying things that are pointy and square but what if we went round instead? Not round like a ball, more like a donut. Ooh, donuts. Maybe we could just eat donuts today instead. Um, no, 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 sorry, distracted. Right, what we're gonna do is make something called a hoop glider. And then if it flies well, we could celebrate by eating donuts. Just a suggestion, mm, donuts. Okay, to make today's flying mobiles, you are going to need three sheets of paper, scissors, tape, pencil, and a ruler and a donut. <laughs> Not really, just kidding. I just thought maybe a, yeah, okay, donut is optional. Okay, today we're gonna make three different designs of planes. One of them is gonna be pointy and the second is gonna have two rings and the third is gonna be, well, basically a big circle. You'll see what happens next. We're gonna test them against each other. So we're gonna start by making a pointy paper plane. So take a sheet of paper and you're gonna fold it in half lengthways like this. So when you fold it in half, you're gonna open it up. You'll see you've got this nice line here. Take your top corner, fold it down that line, take your next corner and fold it in here and you've got a pointy bit. Now do the same thing again. So fold that end in, gonna look like this. Fold this end in, gonna look like that. Now you should have something that looks like this. So fold it the other way down your middle line and then you wanna make your wings. So you're gonna fold down and then on the other side, fold it down. The further you fold, the bigger your wings. And there we go, plane design number one. Okay, just gonna put this over here. Next, we're gonna make a ring glider. So you're gonna take another sheet of paper, measure five centimeters in from the end, cut out that strip, and then you're gonna roll it and tape it into a straw, just like we did with our rockets. Now that's our straw. Next, you're gonna make two rectangles. One of them is two and a half centimeters wide by 13 centimeters long. And the next one is two and a half centimeters wide by 20 centimeters long. So you're gonna cut those two rectangles out. Okay, so we now have a straw and two rectangles. You're gonna tape the rectangles at their ends so they make circles. And then here is the other one. And now you're gonna tape these to the end of your straw. So you're gonna put the small one at the front, you're gonna tape that down like this. And then you're gonna tape the bigger one onto the back. Make sure they line up so you can see through both of the holes like that. All right, I'm gonna put this to the side here. Our final design is basically a hoop. You're gonna take another piece of paper. You're gonna cut off a three centimeter strip from the end. So you don't need this bit. And now you're gonna draw a diagonal line from one end to the other. A fold along this line that you have just drawn, which is gonna give you a shape that looks like two triangles not quite touching or on each other. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold up this folded line about one centimeter towards the middle and then do it again one more time like that. And you're gonna make a circle shape by bringing these two ends together and taping them. So you've got a bit of a circular shape. So you will see now we have a hoop plane, a pointy plane and a glider. Now, the question is, which one is gonna fly the best? So the pointy plane is gonna fly because it's got wide, flat wings that trap underneath. Then the next plane, we've got our curved planes. This is our ring glider and our hoop glider, which is Bernoulli's principle. So which one is gonna fly? Here we go, time for the moment of truth. Three, two, one. Ooh, that was good. Three, two, one. That one's also cool. And our final one, three, two, one. They're all pretty cool, but my favorite one, I think, is the ring glider. So now it's time to test it with, you know who, Nano Nano Girl, my little minuscule mate, who for some reason is busy underneath the table. Hold on, 
And here she is, Nano, Nano Girl. I don't know why she was under the table. Anyway, time to test her on my favorite, the ring glider. Right, we're gonna put a little bit of stickiness down so she has something to sit on. Okay, here we are. She is ready to go. Nano Nano Girl, good luck. Three, two, one. Ah. Hmm. Right, she went up, she definitely went down, which means that I added too much weight, or at least Nano Nano Girl added too much weight, and the force of gravity took over and she hit the ground, which is very odd, because normally she's very light. Oh well, I still call the experiment a success. Time for a celebration donut. Wait, who ate my donut? Oh, that's why Nano Nano Girl sank. She ate my whole donut. That's why she was so heavy. Huh. Well, I can't blame her. She's a nano girl after my own heart <clears throat> and my stomach. Well, I don't think I'm gonna be flying through the air like a superhero anytime soon, but I hope you've enjoyed our week together and we've made some really cool flight experiments. Please share them with us. We would love to see them. Next week, we're gonna be exploring a whole new superpower and that's the superpower of sound. I will see you next donut. I mean, next week. Sorry, donuts on the brain. Hmm. Maybe there's another one around here. Have you a donut? Donut? Has anybody got a donut?